Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee for 107.5 WPLS and Bronx Nets Open. Our next guest is a Bronx-raised singer and songwriter. He does his thing. He gets busy, and he joins us to speak about uh, his debut project, Listening Sessions, which is set to be released on the Black Billion Entertainment. That's a beautiful label right there, and it features soon-to-be hit singles, Quarantine and Confess. Watch out. <laughs> Please welcome to the show our next guest, Jay Dane. Jay, hey, hey what's going on, man? How's everybody? I appreciate y'all for having me. Man. Hey, well, you know, you're always welcome. Thanks for for being a part of it all. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, your upbringing and uh, what influenced you to become a, a singer songwriter? Oh man, um, I think it started with like my mom. Like she used to tell me like when I was when I was like a baby, I used to clap my hands in the crib and just put yeah. Hum. And then my hands got tired, she'd see me clapping my feet. <laughs> so I was like, all right. She said she always knew something musical was in me. Then yeah. fast forward to like seven, eight years old, I, you know, I, I was in church and she, I joined like multiple choirs, you know, children's choir, boys choir, you know, um, yeah. youth, youth choir, you name it. And I just kept myself oh. involved. And at, even at that time, I still wasn't even like sure this was a lane that I wanted to do. You know, I was just huh. discovering my talent. But, but mom was always playing music for you. Always. Mom was always supportive of what I'm doing. She has a nice collection like like I have back here. <laughs> I would say, yeah, yes, it's, yes, it's a little, <laughs> yes, it's a little more structured, but yeah, yeah, she, she got some. But stuff. she has a collection, you, you remember it, so you, you're you musically inclined. You, you've been brought up in, in music. Now tell us about your experience with the Boys Choir of Harlem. How did you find your way into that? And how did you prepare for the big stage as an artist? Uh, yeah, so that was a random situation, man. I'm not going to lie. I, with that school, you had to like be in choir academy to be on the choir, to be on the choir. And I yes. went to Columbus. I'm from the Bronx, you know, like I was, yeah. I'm from the town. So I, a girl that went to my church, her name is Sarah. Shout out to Sarah Goldburn. And she asked me to just come with her to um, her, uh, her rehearsals. Yeah. And I went and I met Miss Riley and they turned into like an audition. And ever since that, I was the only person not from the school that was on the call. So I took that. And Sarah was happy. And Sarah, does she smile now? Oh, she, Sarah's always smiling. So I what's the difference I between know. who you were as an artist when you started and who you are now? Um, when I first started, to be honest, I was definitely not as like confident going into the booth. And that, that changed a lot of things for me because just stepping out of my you know comfort zone allowed me to revamp my sound you know like I listen to all the stuff that I've done and I'll, I'll be like damn I would have did it differently now you know like and that's how you, that's how I always want to keep it there you always want to have some type of progression in what oh. you're doing and, yeah. do you get frightened before you go on stage because a lot of people oh, do different man. things you know to try to get rid of that fright absolutely I, I don't think I, if, if someone told you that they didn't I don't care how much they love it I, I, I would think they're lying to be honest because it's it's just that natural, that natural feel you, that you get. It's like, wow, there's, there's a bunch yeah. of people out there staring at me, even though they, they, they may know my songs or they may, you know, waiting for me to perform. It's always just that wow, for me at least, yeah. you know? So definitely, I always still have a little stage, yeah. but I always tell myself once I start, you got to finish. I mean, I host a lot of shows, so I see what some of the artists are doing sometimes. Sometimes they'll let you see them sometimes, you know. They, you won't even, you'll be there, but for them, you won't even, you're not even there. They're like, zoning because they want to be able to see their performance before they hit the stage and some of them do different things some of them hey oh and try, ah, try to you know <laughs> different things you, Warm you up, think so, they're yeah. crazy but you know they are preparing to go on to give the best show of their life when you shake your hands i gotta get the jitters out man <laughs> whatever you gotta do to so get you yourself comfortable Make do what you got to do to make it work. Now you recently rebranded. Yeah, I was actually, I was actually JB not too long ago. I changed All my right. name. It's like the way, the way, like I said, the way I record my songs, the way I stack, the way I even like see music now is like different. You know? Yeah. So, well, who started. helped you with that? Who helped you notice that? You you just found out yourself that you need to rebrand. Nah, not at all. Um, it's, it's all around me, man. Everywhere I go, different studios, different like friends that I have, just different people that come in my life. I listen to comments and certain things stick, you know, like one thing people always say, you know, yeah, you sing a lot. 
So it's like, yeah. I, I try to, I, I take that as a good thing and I take it as a, hmm, maybe I should yeah. incorporate the singing with a modern sound, you know, maybe I should give them a little hip hop with the singing and still, still be me, but give them them, you know? And yeah. I took that and then that was the main thing too, because in the beginning I was really just trying to just do my own, my own sound without thinking about the people. So now I'm trying to be more. People. Just let everybody know that package that you have. So, how has COVID nineteen uh, affected you? Have, have you have, did it help you? Did you know you sat down and just settled down and wrote more, or what? What happened oh, with yeah. you? Oh yeah, I say it all the time, man. I mean, I would say this too. Sorry for anybody who's been affected directly during these times. Because it's just tragic. But for me personally, it's been a blessing. Like yeah. I've actually, because I, 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 I'm used to being outside. Like I'll be on the road, you know. I'll be on the move. Like yeah. I'm here, I'm here. But with with everything that happened with quarantine, you know, it kind of forced you to like, like look into yourself. You know, you you have all the time in the world, you know. So, you know, I really got to sit down and focus, and and you know, just like really, really revamp myself. So I'm, I'm grateful. You thinking about getting a shot? I'm thinking about it. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at at, at still yeah. thinking. <laughs> If you jump it on planes and stuff, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe that's a right, thing to do. Right. So you had that new record, uh, Listening Sessions. Talk about that. Oh, that's the project. Yeah, that's the, the project. project. Yeah. Um, listening Sessions. It was actually supposed to drop January 10th. And Good. it got pushed back, which I'm happy about because I actually want to switch some songs around if possible. But um, yeah, it's, it's a dope project. It's my first one that's going to be so, dropping. Yeah. There's two songs in that project, right? Quarantine yeah, and um, and Confess. Yeah. Yeah. Quarantine and Confess. They're um they're out. I also have Fire and Lit. That's out. Four singles out. Um, uh oh. Yeah, videos for all of them. I don't think there's no video for Quarantine, but I got a bunch of other videos about to drop too. It's like so much. I, I got so much for y'all, man. I, I don't even know where to start, man. Yeah, yeah. I just when you do it. when you do the uh, when you do the video for Quarantine, you're gonna do it in your house. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not sure where I want to do it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to do it up. I want to get the gas mask. I want to, you know, get everything nice. And Whoa, and yeah. Yeah, I want to go big with that. Do that whole thing. So that's going to come out soon, right? Or Absolutely. are you still trying to rearrange it? No, it's definitely. Um, well, the, the single's already out. It's already spinning around. But um, as far as the video goes, I haven't got the date for that yet. So I'll keep you guys posted. So what's next for you? What do you what do you think you, you you're looking at coming up? Um, uh, what's coming down the pipe? Right now, with everything going on, as far as you know, the COVID thing, I can't physically be anywhere. Hopefully, hopefully everything starts to open up soon. But I'm just gonna keep being consistent. I'm dropping singles for you. I'm giving you, there you go. a bunch of videos coming up. You know, like just you know, just stay tuned. Jdane.com if you want to tap in there and inside um subscribe to the newsletter. You know, I'll keep you updated with everything. There you go. Jay Dane, tell us, what would you what would you say to some young people that want to try to do the same thing that you're doing? Oh man, yeah. Anybody who hears this, be yourself. There's not there's no other key. Be be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else. If you if you if you have something that you want to do, do it. You have your mind set on something, do it. Because we as artists, mm -hmm. we're all different and we're different for a reason. There's not yeah. one artist that's the same and, and that there's a reason for that. So just, you know, just be yourself and everything. Else. My man, Jay Dane, singer and songwriter, is going to go far. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me. God bless you. All right. That's on. Uh, well, that's all we have for today's show. You know, all good things must come to an end. Janet Jackson song. Funny how time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's it for now. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for checking it out. We really appreciate you. Thank you once again for letting us share in this space and time with you. And remember, what you are is God's gift to you and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice. Let the choice control the chooser. Remember that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For the Doc Bob Lee, I'll catch you up on 107.5 WBLS. Another day, another way. Love you all. Peace.